What else did you buy? And then I sat in a chair that I'm like, this is so comfortable. And I go, I don't know if it goes with this stuff. And I look around me, right? And next to the chair is a crib and a baby changing station. And I let I get up and I look at it and go, this is like a maternity chair. <laughs> That's why it's so comfortable. I almost bought a maternity chair. Because it accommodates your big belly. <laughs> right? This is the Woody and Jim Show podcast, a daily recap of everything you missed. Uh, every time Zach meets somebody today, he says, look at my nails. They're pretty fabulous. They're, I'm not going to lie. They're adorable. They're covered in glitter. They yeah. are. It's like you hung out with an eight-year-old last night. Did you babysit? Yeah. yeah. No, I went and got my nails Did done. Did you play Pretty Pretty Princess? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been trying really, really hard not to bite my nails, and they had gotten so long that I was like at the point of anxiety that I was like, okay, I'm going to bite my nails. Well, I'm going to bite my them? nails. Mm. Because I hate the sound of clippers, of okay. fingernail clippers. I okay. hate them. So I have to go to the nail salon to have them file them because I hate the sound of nail clippers. Wait, so, you'd rather have a grinding saw zzz, work on your clip zzz, than your clippers. I would much prefer that than the, the than the sound of nail clippers of them just file them down. But I also got a pedicure while I was there. Yes, and they used a cheese grater on my feet. And <laughs> you were so proud when they did that in another salon a, uh, a while back. No, last time they used a potato peeler. Oh, that's right. That was that's much more strength. intense. That's yeah. more industrial okay. strength. Yeah. yeah. So this was this was a cheese grater. Yeah. Made for cheese, but used on your feet. Yeah. So what had happened was, is my cousin loves Parmesan cheese. So no. I took a video. No. <laughs> oh, no. I no. took a video of them grating my feet, and I was like, oh. hey, here's your Parmesan cheese for dinner. <laughs> I, I'm picturing a, a TikTok where you have a plate of spaghetti, and then you see the Parmesan cheese raining down on it. Oh, and yeah. then, no. then they pan out, and it's you scraping your feet. Oh, 100%. Oh, come on. People are eating. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. Sorry. I'm You'll trying. never eat spaghetti again. I'm You're sorry. welcome. I will yeah. say they offered like a pumice stone. I was like, girl, I need something Wasn't stronger enough. than that. Yeah. I need I need something way way stronger than that. <laughs> Fuck, stone is not enough. <laughs> no, <laughs> I needed the cheese grater. And so wow, you have anxiety about uh, chewing your nails. Yeah, but you chew your nails because you have anxiety. One hundred percent. That's how it works. So you're having anxiety about chewing your nails, which causes you to chew your nails. Yeah. Okay. That's a really great weird way to put it, but that's accurate. <laughs> so that's why I went and got them painted. Yes. And file down because I was like, okay, I'm having anxiety. I only chew them because it's like an anxiety thing. Right. But now they're all glittery and you don't want to get glitter in your mouth, so you want to chew them. Exactly. Maybe. And they're beautiful. Mm-hmm. They also sell this sour apple product so that, like, you know, yeah. dogs okay, and cats so don't I've, chew on things. You put on the legs of chairs so dogs don't <laughs> chew them. Yeah. I have tried that before and I liked the flavor of it. <laughs> That it made me chew my nails more because I was like, okay, is this dessert? This is they stick like taste like nerds. Yeah, it tastes like it. a sour patch kid. I was like, this is fantastic. So I've tried it. Don't you worry. <laughs> trending. Here's what's trending this morning with Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River. Brought to you by Mark Spade Real Estate. Of course, we have electric cars, and now uh, the Sono Motor Company in Germany is working on. A solar-powered car. Okay, that's actually brilliant. Where I don't know just, why we didn't have that before. It was, I guess it's covered with uh, about 456 solar panels. I mean, and, if you're driving down the yeah. road and it's sunny outside, it just makes sense. Like, power the car. Yeah, I guess they say, you know, for right now, over oh, one charge, they can go 117 miles, but it's they're they're working on it. So yeah. that would be kind of a cool way of the future. Yeah. And you wouldn't have to plug it in either, which is awesome. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Uh, Zach, what you got? So I can't decide if this is like embarrassing or a good thing, but apparently Shazam just named Drake as the most Shazammed artist ever. And so the reason that I say I can't decide if it's embarrassing or not is because typically you pull up Shazam when you don't know what a song is. Yeah, what is is this song? Right. Yeah. So all of these people don't know. He's got a a Drake distinct Drake sound. Yeah. So apparently he's been Shazammed over 17 million songs just for the one song, One Dance, which we play. Right. Mm. It's really. I, I was like, is that a compliment? Because Billboard magazine is like, hmm. oh, Drake put up a major milestone this week. And I'm like, did he, though? 
Is that a good thing? Is that what you want? Yeah. yeah they <laughs> go to Shazam knows your say, song. Which mumble rapper is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe they're trying to pull up the lyrics because they can't understand what he's <laughs> mumbling. Maybe <laughs> so. I just thought that was really yeah. interesting. Jim, what you got? So this is an interesting question. They asked, okay, what's healthier? An ice cream cone, a bag of Fritos, or a multigrain bagel? I would guess an ice cream cone. Woody. Um, because it seems like it doesn't fit with the other ones, I'm going to say a bag of Fritos. It's more healthy. Uh, Tufts University <laughs> found out that uh, sometimes things that seem unhealthy are more nutritious than you'd expect. And that's why Fritos is the healthier of those three. Oh. What's got your minimum daily requirement of corn and grease? And, and sodium. <laughs> and whatever they swept off the factory yeah. floor that ends up in it. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like you go through all these different, uh, you know, criteria, and the, the bag of Fritos comes out on top. Mm. Interesting. So there you go. So um, if you're eating a bagel this morning, don't yeah. just grab a bag of Fritos. Right. It's way easier, more nutritious. <laughs> I'm dieting <laughs> right now. Gender wars. It's time for men and women to answer questions for gender wars. Oh, we lost somebody. Oh, oh no. Who do we lose? We lost Megan. Megan. Oh, Megan. Megan, I hope you call back sometime and try to play. We're, we'll find a uh, female contestant to replace you for today. But. Yeah, we got Eric in the meantime for the guys. Hello, Eric. Hello. Do I win by default? No, no. unfortunately. <laughs> Although it would be oh. pretty funny if you lost and there was nobody and there was else. No one, yeah, I, I competed against no one and still lost. Right. All right, so Zach is trying to find a contestant to play against you, and he's uh, successfully getting them on the line. But while we're waiting to talk to them, let's give you a uh, get acquainted question. Eric, what activity helps you relieve stress? Well, I won't say the one that Zach told me not to say, uh, but I'll go with working out at the gym. Okay. At the gym. Oh, my God, Eric, the hottie McBody. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right, we okay. have a lady now. We have Celine in Nashville. Hello, Celine. Hello. Hello. Hi hey there. Celine, thanks for jumping in at the last second to play against Eric. Uh, before you get started, to warm you up, here's a get acquainted question. What activity helps you relieve stress? Just yelling out. <sighs> okay. Just, All right. You're holding back. Usually there's probably a word or two associated yeah. with it, and it's louder, isn't it? I have my son in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to hear what you, uh, you know, go into your backyard and scream into the darkness. Oh, uh, exactly. Or as soon as you hang up the phone. Or something. Exactly. Okay. All right. You each have a screw you can use if you need it. Uh, yell out the word screw before the buzzer, and we'll give your question to your opponent. If they get it right, they steal a point from you. But if they get it wrong, you get a point for knowing nothing. Here we go, Celine. Multiple choice. Is Shoeless Joe Jackson a legendary football, baseball, or basketball player? Baseball? Yes. Yeah. Yes, baseball. Uh, it's it's uh, one to nothing, ladies. All right, Eric. Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus, or Selena Gomez. Who co-starred with the Jonas Brothers in Disney's Camp Rock movies? Um, was that Selena Gomez? It no. sure was not. It was Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato. Okay. <laughs> All right. One to nothing. Right. Celine has the lead. She could build on it. Uh, Celine, one period of an NHL hockey game lasts for how many minutes? Six minutes? Six minutes? No. no. 20 minutes. So close. It goes okay. by fast, though. Eric, you got a chance to tie it up. Okay, Eric, what astrological sign is represented by a pair of scales? A pair of what? Scales. scales. Like weight scales, not fish scales. Oh, uh, Libra? Libra. Yeah. Right. There you go. All right, we have a tie game going into the final set of questions. Okay, uh, Celine, what is the Incredible Hulk's real name? Bruce Banner. Bruce it Banner. Is. There you go, you got it. it. All right, two to one. Eric, you need this one to stay alive. Eric, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Chris Martin have a daughter named after what fruit? Apple. 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 That is correct. <laughs> okay. All right. We are tied up. We break the tie with Name That Tune. Up to 10 seconds. Celine, how many seconds will it take you to name a song? Six. Six seconds. What do you think there, Eric? Can you do it in less? Four. 
Four, Four. seconds. All right. Back to you, Celine. Three. Three. Ooh. Eric. Let her name it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Celine has three seconds to name the song we're about to play. Five. Yes. What's the name of it? The name of the song, though, is Sugar. Yes. Oh, look at you, right. Woody and Jim in the morning, 107.5 The River, pretending to work when you really don't want to work. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier if you're working from home. Right. Uh, a friend of mine who is in the business of, I guess, checking up on some of those things. Make sure people are actually working instead of just pretending. Yeah. And this isn't something they do uh, just for everybody. But if it looks suspicious and they start checking, mm. okay, two things things they're on to you for. Oh, no. If you're using the Jiggler app, which what is... What is the Jiggler app? The Jiggler app is... Uh, okay, so your computer knows when you haven't touched the mouse or any keys for a certain amount of time, and oh, then, right. then go goes... the screensaver or goes something? Goes to the screensaver. Yeah, okay, yeah. well, like, they can tell on another end when you haven't done anything on your computer because of that. Oh, uh, so if you're using so the, like Microsoft Teams or Trello, you'll right. be able to like know if nobody's active. Right. Mm. But the Jiggler app simulates moving the mouse around so it looks like <laughs> you're busy on your computer. Oh, really? So people, they know your Jiggler app and it's not going to help you out. Okay, so that's one thing. The okay. Jiggler app, the jig is up. Um, the jig is up. <laughs> the other thing uh, that they've noticed, uh, if you are in a situation where you take calls, because there's not so many call centers anymore, as right. there are people working at home taking calls that are directed to the phone, right? Yeah, yep. right, right. Uh, so if they see that you're on the phone with customers and stuff like that, then that's good. So some people have resorted to getting a Google phone number and then calling themselves with a Google phone number and recording like, hello, this is such and such business. My name is Mary or Tom and I'm here to help you. What can I help you with today? And then, so then it looks like they're on the phone all the whole time. And then if they go to check the recordings, they listen to the, like the first 20 seconds and they hear you starting to talk and they go, oh, okay, that's a legit phone call. Uh -huh. Yeah. But then there's nothing because then they just set the phone down and then went off and watched season four of Virgin River. Yo, that is actually brilliant. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I feel like you're putting more work into not working yeah, than actually working. Yeah, if you only working. put as much effort into your actual job as you are to not Absolutely. working. Absolutely. <laughs> that is brilliant. Like but, the Google phone number one, I love that idea. Yeah. yeah. But they're also onto that. They have a way now Ugh. where they can figure that out. Narcs. So, I know. <laughs> the I know. narcs of the world. Narcs. <laughs> narcs. So uh, we're going to open things up. I know Zach has a couple of uh, <laughs> ideas already. So even if you're at work and not at home, right? to make it look like you're busy working, but you're really not. Yeah. So we'd love your ideas. 615-737-9107. Yeah. Uh, and Zach's going to share some of his. Uh, these are ideas, and, and I promise I won't tell my friend who investigates these things. I also yeah. feel really bad telling you guys these things because, because I work we'll with you. Because okay. we're going to see it. Yeah. Call you out. Yeah. But, you know, you know us. We don't care if you're working or not. Also, you already knew that I wasn't working. So. Yeah. We, we know your level of work. You weren't kidding anybody. Having the emergency Word document about to pop up that you have minimized on your screen. Exactly. Oh, or you're actually playing. The elf, dummy screen. If you're playing elf bowling, but then yeah. you have to pop that up. I love, love, love doing that. You guys, I apologize. I love you guys so much, but I work really hard at not working. Yes. So. We've learned there's a Jiggler app that uh, simulates the movement of a mouse. Like your mouse is moving around, keystrokes, so, that yeah, kind of stuff. So if somebody's yeah. monitoring your computer, it looks yeah. like you're moving something Ooh. on the computer. They're hard at work. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, some other tricks. And Zach, you're going to reveal some of the tricks you use well, that you use to try to make other people think you're working really hard, but you're not. Yeah. So have you guys heard of the Houdini the who, like the magician? What's, yeah. What's the Houdini? 
I like the name. So typically when I'm at work and I actually am leaving work to go to lunch or brunch okay. or something, uh-huh. I will like leave a jacket on the back of my chair so that you guys think that I'm still here. Oh, so people will say, <laughs> oh, Zach is coming right back. He forgot his jacket. Yeah, his jacket so. is here. His backpack is here. Like yeah. His items are still oh, here. It. Probably in a meeting or at the restroom or something. He's yeah, still here that's working. It. Buy a separate laptop. You leave just at work. So it looks <laughs> yeah. like, oh, He's obviously coming back. His it, laptop's right here. Well, the, the jacket's a lot cheaper. The yeah, jacket is very true. cheap. So if you're in the you office an extra and you want to go to brunch and like have fr- have drinks with your friends, yeah. just leave like a jacket on the back of your chair. And also, scatter things around your desk. Like, so it looks like you are working really hard and there's things. like Because usually people clean up before they leave. Oh, yeah. My right. desk is a terrible mess. People must think I'm really busy. <laughs> okay, well, Woody works all day and night. All day and night. Yeah. And then I will say the other one that I love is asking, if somebody emails you, okay. ask a million questions in the email so it buys you time. Because that'll tie them up trying to answer your questions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. Literally, as be plan. like. Like, go through their email and ask a question about every single statement that they made so that they didn't have to answer it. And they're going to put it it off because they're going to go, oh, God, there's a million questions on here, so you don't have to deal with them for, like, two days. Yeah, it buys you time. That's funny. I think it's brilliant. We had a uh, text from Jennifer in uh, Antioch saying, I like to, uh, something I learned on TV from watching Seinfeld is that just look annoyed all the time. Okay. If, oh, if yeah. You're, if you're looking annoyed or serious, people think, oh, look, they're hard at work. Yeah. Oh, like, he's oh, deep in a problem. I got, like, oh, I got time to do this. She's, they're dealing she's with working a lot on a right big now. project, she is. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can just tough. tell. Yeah. You can okay. tell she's frustrated. You guys, I have a serious question, though. <laughs> okay. Because I do this all the time that I act like I'm busy. Like, I literally, whenever you guys email me, I will email back with a million questions uh-huh. or I, I will purposefully leave my stuff in the studio so that you guys think that I'm still here. <laughs> mm-hmm. I work really hard at not working. I know. <laughs> do, do you want to know if it fools us? I want to know if it fools you. And what do you do to me? All right. Well, we just work really hard because we have, you know, the great work ethic of America. Yes. Okay. We're well, not I, like I, Jim, you. Jim, I literally said, let's be honest. We're not like you. Yeah, we work for a living. I would say half the time I believe you might be here. Okay, and so 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> Could be either way. Well, so normally uh, we can hear if you're here. That's very true. <laughs> Even if you're in the other part of the building. That's very we'll just true. hear Zach's voice. Oh, oh, he's still here. Yeah. But if we if we see your jacket on the back of your chair, but we can't hear you anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, he just left it here. Mm-hmm. You think I forgot it? Yeah. God. I tried so hard. <laughs> so everybody on your way home today, stop by Goodwill and buy like 18 coats. Yeah, that's yeah. just good leave, advice. Leave it on your jackets, desk. whatever. And also be more yeah. quiet at yeah. work so they don't even know that you're there. Yeah. Get like one of those signs they put up in businesses that says, back in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Zach has got your celebrity stuff. So J-Lo and Ben Affleck got married again over again. the weekend for their second time, a.k.a. they were LARPing at their own wedding. <laughs> <laughs> they were cosplaying their second wedding. That's right. Um, so this happened in Georgia this time because that's where Ben Affleck is from. And right. so I guess it actually happened like near Savannah, Georgia, because there is somebody that st- that like posted on Instagram said, hey, I'm staying at a hotel in Savannah, Georgia, and they just gave me this gift box for the Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez wedding. But they weren't at the wedding, but they just... They were not invited the to the wedding. Box. You know, like whenever you go to a wedding and you stay at a hotel, there's always like thank you gifts, like yeah, you, know, you check yeah. in behind the yeah. desk. Yeah, yeah, it's a bag full of like the nice little goodies. So apparently, the person at the hotel gave this person the gift box because they thought they were there for the wedding party. Yes. And what was in the gift box? What? I would think something way more extravagant. I'm thinking and like uh, Mo- Movado watches and uh, stuff like that. I love you for thinking that it would be fantastic. Mm. Apparently, it was an elaborate box of chocolates and a card that read, Thank you so much for making our wedding weekend celebration so special. Sweet dreams, J and B. A box of chocolates? Well, maybe as the weddings go on, their gift boxes become less pricey. True, for yeah. their second wedding in a month, like <laughs> right, like the next, yeah, every- the next one's gonna have like a lick on tattoo that says, you know, 
I mean, I want that fake tattoo. <laughs> Benefer 2.0? Yeah. I would wear it on my forehead. Are you kidding me? Thanks for coming to our 17th wedding. Enjoy this bag of, you know, Jack Link's beef jerky. And a coupon of dog food. Yeah. Also, how do you just randomly get a wedding gift box at a hotel? Like, I remember I just went to a wedding not too long ago, and they were like, hey, what's your name? They gave us a gift box. They marked it off the list. So, like, if you're not on the list, how do you get a Benefer 2.0 gift box? Maybe maybe there were so many people that they had figured every guest there was for the wedding. That's that, actually true. That, that'd be like, a good scam. Hey, you're here. Here you, you go. You see somebody in a wedding dress and dressed up formally. You know, <gasps> you just go to the desk and say, yeah, I'm here for the wedding. Do you have the, you, I told, told you had the gift boxes? This is going to be my new career. <laughs> Every time there's a celebrity getting married, I'm just going to go to that city, stay in a hotel, yeah. and dress up super nice so that they think I'm part of the wedding party and see what I can get out of them. It's a good plan. I think this yeah. is brilliant. It's, it's, it's a good plan that we're excited that we're not paying for. It's a new side hustle. It'll yeah. cost you travel and That's hotel. right. But I got a $20 gift bag. And then I can sell it on eBay. I know. I think this is a win this here. Is, this is it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see the whole story and the photos from the wedding, they looked really beautiful. You can like The River on Facebook and check it out right there. Woody and Jim in the morning, 107.5 The River, Jack Harlow, first class. We want to show up at your first class and yeah. give you some tickets to see him in concert and also a $100 gift card. You can use at Journeys. So a free show and free shoes. I mean, how, how that? amazing would that be? Yeah. The first class of the day, the day you probably part of the day you dread right you know that instead becomes the best part of your day because we walk into your classroom and hand you the tickets and the gift card to journeys like yeah. when we say that we're being dramatic we're being dramatic we're literally going to bust down the door come through your first class <laughs> and be like hey where are you here's your tickets you know and like the hate kool-aid man schools love that when you kick in the door <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And there's not just one They're pair. not totally on edge in the cer- curtain climb, climb that yeah. we have. There's not just one pair for grabs. We're literally going to do this every single day next week. So it's there's five week, pair, yeah. right. $500 to journeys. Like, it's it's going to be ridiculous. Yeah, simple. Right. Just go to 1075theriver.com. I'll give us the info on where your first class is, college or high school or wherever. And uh, we may just show up and hand you tickets. Yeah, Think if you want to make it like super easy, you can just follow our Instagram. It is at 1075 The River. Check our Instagram stories. All of the info is right there. And there's like a little sticker button that you can like click and be like, hey, this is where I am during yeah. my first class. And we might just show up like the Kool Aid Man and be like, hey, here we are. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to bust down a brick wall like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So. so many questions, though. Who, who cleans up after the Kool Aid? I don't know. You never see the aftermath. And does the yeah. does the brick and the yeah. mortar that like he breaks loose like fall into him? Do you end up drinking out of him, and then you've got like all those contaminants? <laughs> You're making contaminants. this way more difficult. I know. I never <laughs> thought about that. There's... Everyone, line up with your glasses. I want you to drink out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you know, these are the things that keeps Jim like, up at like, night. Hold on a second. I haven't overthought this enough. No, I need yeah. to work on this. Woody and Jim in the morning on 107.5 The River. All right, here's what's making us happy this morning with Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River. Uh, for the last year or so, I've had a cat, so I know about cats. Sweet Moira Rose. What are cats good for? They snuggle, and they show you their butt so much that you think they want to start an OnlyFans. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, but here is a hero cat, something you don't hear about too often. A woman okay. in England uh, named Sam uh, in uh, Nottingham, England, uh, she says her cat saved her life. Because so? apparently in the middle of the night, at like 4.30 in the morning, she had a heart attack. I guess she said she went to bed feeling fine, then all of a sudden had a heart attack in her sleep. And I guess the cat sensed something was wrong and jumped up on her chest and meowed loudly, which is what they do anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this time woke her up and she was able to call, you know, 911 or whatever the English version of that is. Wow. It's magic. Yeah. And they were able to, uh, they were able to save her. That's great. They said the cat saved her life. 
Good for the cat finally doing something worth its time. (laughs) Right? Save this lady. She feeds me. That's right. Yeah. (laughs) They're not stupid. That's what's making us happy this morning with Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River. You know, you leave your dog all day. When you come back home, they go crazy. Oh, yeah. And now science has proven that your dog really misses you. Apparently, your dog actually cries tears of joy when you get home. Tears of joy. So they say if you're gone Aww. for like seven hours a day, that the tear production is increased by 10% when you get home. Because your dogs literally miss you so much. They're literally, their tear ducts are, they're, they're crying because you're home. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. I, yeah. Like that's, oh my, ah, oh, when I got home yesterday, his, my dog Wally's eyes was, were, were kind of, they looked goopy. And I said, oh, let me get tissue. Crying, yeah. He was crying. He was crying. Apparently, there's a hormone called oxytocin, which is called the love hormone. Yes. And they like release more of that whenever you get home. Huh. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, stop. They that's so did cute. Miss me. Of course, we you don't know deserve that dogs. Dogs really don't have a concept of time. So, so you say. So we think. But, you know, it's like if you leave your house and then forget something and walk in two seconds later, you know, they act like you haven't been there for a month. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. But they're not, they never d- see you again. But they're not crying tears of joy. Is this forever? <laughs> if, if you're out for longer than seven hours, they cry yeah. tears of joy. And they do that jumping around and yeah. forming that, like, U or C kind of shape because right. their, their yeah. bodies just don't know how to handle the excitement. <laughs> I was literally having this conversation with a friend yesterday, and I was like, "We literally don't deserve dogs." I know, like they've, true. they've saved all of our lives. They basically, are the, the best animals. Absolutely. Yeah. That yes, my dog rescued me from Nashville Humane Association. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's so true. <laughs> Absolutely. So when you get home from work today and your dog is so excited, give them a little bit more extra love because they're literally crying because they're so excited yeah. to see you. Don't dismiss them. Don't be like, hey, good right. to see you. Get on the floor and cuddle them. It's okay to shed a tear back. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if you don't have a dog, then go to Nashville Humane and find yourself someone. That's exactly. Right. Yeah. Unconditional love. Trending. Here's what's trending this morning with Woody and Jim on 107.5 The River. Brought to you by Mark Spain Real Estate. Uh, yesterday, uh, the uh, Little League World Series continues. Our friends from Nolansville, they beat Indiana 5-2. to two. Yes. Yeah, they did. And that means uh, tomorrow, uh, around 2 o'clock, they will be playing the winner of the Honolulu versus uh, Pearland, Texas game. Okay. All so, right. Yeah. So they've won two. Just keep on Let's keeping keep on. going. We keep stand with up. you. We yeah, believe. No yeah. yeah. Uh, Zach, what you got? So this is actually pretty cool. I guess the world's largest holiday themed like light event is actually coming to Nashville this year. Hmm. Um, so it's called Enchant. It's going to be at First Horizon Park, which is where the Nashville sounds play. Oh, yeah. yeah. They did that like a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. had done it here right. before. And it's pretty COVID. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess they have like over 4 million different lights. They have a 100 foot holiday tree. They have a uh, like an ice skating trail. They have live entertainment. And Santa's going to be there. Santa. All right. Yeah. So it's actually going to be super, super cool. Um, And it opens on November 25th. Mm. Um, And I'm like, I just want to go ice skating and go see Santa. Really good Instagram places there to get, oh, yeah. get stuff done. Do yeah. Christmas pictures there. It's like over 10 acres. That's wow. how big the event is. It's wild. Wow. Yeah. So that's starting on November 25th, right after Black Friday. Jim, what you got? Well, this is, uh, you know, the news isn't great, but at least the family has closure. But it's kind of interesting how this came about. Uh, There was a teenager missing, Kylie Rodney, and uh, they had been looking for her in a California area and uh, national forest. The authorities have been for weeks uh, in fact, they put in 9,000 man hours to try to find her. Wow. Um, unfortunately, they did find her, I guess, inside of her car at the bottom of the lake. No, oh, but it that's wasn't. Sad. Yeah, but it wasn't her. Uh, the or it wasn't the authorities that found him. Apparently, a volunteer group, partly formed through the internet, uh, went through clues and within 48 hours found her under the water. Wow. They used huh. like a, I guess, submersible drone and they found her car. Right. And that's right. how they found her inside. So, and people are saying, like, wow, that was amazing. And if you've ever seen the uh, documentary on Netflix, Don't Blank with Cats, um, I'm 
bleeping out a word there. Right. Uh, yeah, if, if the internet gets a hold of something, uh, it's amazing what they can accomplish. They're hmm. like miniature FBI agents. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Or better than them. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So the news wasn't good, and they didn't expect it to be good for uh, the missing person, but uh, at least the family has closure now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My son Jeff came to visit, and we said, well, there's nothing going on here. Let's turn the TV on and see what's on. Okay. So flipped through and found one of the ESPN channels. I don't know which one. But uh, they were showing professional cornhole, <laughs> which uh-huh. I didn't know you could co- go pro with cornhole. And the announcers yeah. were like so golf announcery. They were I was like, literally about yeah, to say, if you yeah. can be a professional golfer, then you can definitely be a be professional, professional corn- cornhole. Well, they take it very seriously. And the announcers are going, yes, he's using one of my favorite. Actually, one of my favorite, my favorite professional grade bag is being used right now and <laughs> we're wow. going like it was like so mundane and fascinating but now i read a story that there's a huge controversy about your bags and cornhole they're calling it bag gate oh my god Uh-oh. what's happening with bag <laughs> are people gate? cheating apparently a lot of people will take their bags and alter them Oh. Like size or weight? Uh, like Tom a little Brady bit of both. Lake, maybe. Yeah, they deflate the the <laughs> beans. <laughs> but I guess they say that you know they usually soften up a little bit as you play with them. You kind of break them in yeah. that way. Okay. But a lot of people can't wait that long, so they're using things like f- fabric softener, things like that to, uh, to performance enhancing yeah. laundry yes. drugs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is the tea that I needed today. People are altering their bags for cornhole. For cornhole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want testing. I want I want people like, you know, sneaking in the bags that they give to the tester. I Enough. love that. Oh, I, <laughs> because it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. People are gonna do anything to get an edge. Oh yeah. No matter what it is. Yeah. I mean, I, you could be playing freaking game of Yahtzee and the freaking... <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody's yeah. shaving the dice. Somebody's doing- so they I always get a, a like large they, straight when they want one. I feel like it depends on where you're playing because if it's, like, super windy, then I feel like people are going to be, like, inflating with, like, lip filler so that it's heavier. <laughs> yes. So that it doesn't get taken away by the wind. Oh, that was also mentioned in the article. A lot of people are using collagen yeah. in, their, <laughs> in, their, in their cornhole bags. <laughs> People are wild out so, here. When, mean, you, when somebody challenges you to a game of cornhole sometime this summer, you know, they say, hey, make sure you're not enhancing. Yeah. yeah. You got to pee in a cup before I play you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it is like, cornhole is the bowling of the 21st century. It, it's one of those Accurate. great sports that you can you, play while you're still holding a beer with your other hand. Right. And if yeah. you smoke, you can do that too. Yeah. And yeah. Just like, it you know, balance, makes it a honestly, very American yeah. sport. I'm an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Woody and Jim in the morning, 107 Father. Uh, Jim, you did what a lot of people do. You say you went to Target for one thing. I attempted. In fact, we <laughs> were leaving. Target work. has a different idea for you. <laughs> we were leaving the River Studios yesterday afternoon, and uh, I said, Yeah, I'm going to go to Target, but I'm going to just buy. Shampoo and hair gel. Mm -hmm. Jim, you know that when you arrive at Target, Target tells you what you need to buy. I know. That's why I was telling Woody to try to like reinforcement, kind of like a like an AA buddy. Oh yeah. I was trying to tell him like I'm gonna. Somebody needs to hold you accountable. Uh, Yeah. I'm gonna get through this. (laughs) Okay. So (laughs) please, Jim needs a Target sponsor. (laughs) I do. do. So when you went to Target, what happened? Well, okay, so the first thing I did was I was looking around because I figured, oh, I don't want a cart because that's just going to make me want to fill it. Yes. So I need one of those red baskets. Yeah. Right? So, But I couldn't find the red baskets. But then I saw one sitting on top of, you know that part where you walk into Target and they have all those cheap little things? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The that, thing that looks like you're going to a Scholastic Book Fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Dollar General up I front. love that spot. Yeah. It's like a little Dollar General tiny <laughs> yeah. spot, right? So, it's a little crap you don't need, but you want. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but somebody had set like an empty, you know, little carry-all basket there. Yeah. So I grab one. Mm. And then, of course, as I pull it up, it unveils... Oh, there's a charcuterie board, but it's got like a football field engraved into it. Oh. I'm thinking, oh, it's for charcuts for, for like watching the game. For NFL That's charcuterie. Perfect. It's this time of year. Yes. And it's only $5. So you had walked four feet into the store and already you made an impulse buy. 
tr- just trying to get something to carry things. I bought the impulse buy. So you put it in your basket. So I put it in my basket. Yeah, you did. Okay. And then I'm, I'm like walking down towards like the hair care products. So you got to go past the registers. So then I remembering saw, like, that one thing you you said you were only coming in for. Yeah. 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 And then there's a guy like. Uh, Stocking the the little shelves as you wait to check out, mm-hmm. and uh, he's still, like putting up Doritos, and then he puts up like Smart Food white cheddar popcorn. Oh, oh like, my god, oh, the that's best popcorn! So delicious. Uh, that's delicious. So I grab the the popcorn. Goes well with your NFL charcut, right? Yeah. Then I go and then I, I find uh, I find like a million shampoos, and they didn't have the one I wanted, so mm. I got the L'Oreal Ever Cream shampoo, and I'm like, okay. There's like 50 varieties of that, so I picked up one of those. Okay. I got a Harry's Taming Cream tube to- Me? Know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. I spent almost $7 on a thing of like hair gel. <laughs> um, Virgil Jim. If you know Jim, right? that's that's a big step for yeah. sure. It hurt. It hurt. Yeah, it hurt. Um, and then I bought envelopes. Because then the the stationary section was the next one down. The envelopes were to mail out our "Are You Smarter Than Zach?" gift uh, certificates. Okay, I'm okay. glad that you had a reason because okay. I was like, why else would you own an envelope? Right. Mm. And then you know I've been coloring my hair since I've been like 20, so they haven't had my uh, color in anywhere. Mm. And all of a sudden I see Clairol Root Touch Up 5A Medium Ash Brown. Oh. And then they wow, had... so specific. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Your hair needs specific things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they had, uh, and it was like buy three boxes, get a $5 gift card for Target. So I bought six. Oh, so you got wow. a $10 I got gift $10. card. $10. Damn. Right? And then I... Uh... This is getting even more and more dramatic as we go. What else did you buy? And then I sat in a chair that I'm like, this is so comfortable. And I go, I don't know if it goes with this stuff. And I look around me, right? And next to the chair is a crib and a baby changing station. And I let I get up and I look at it and go, this is like a maternity chair. <laughs> That's why it's so comfortable. I almost bought a maternity chair. Because it accommodates your big belly. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. So I, I, all right, I said, forget it. Go to the register, check out. And so I got all those things. And then I get home and I realized the shampoo, which is the one of two things that I went to go get. Yeah. I've grabbed the conditioner instead of shampoo. Oh, I've actually done that before, too. So now I have to go too. back. Wow. I have the receipt. I have to go back. And I said to my wife, I said, Jen, do you, would you like this conditioner? You use conditioner a lot. Do you, yeah. Is this something? She goes, no, I don't like you that You don't kind. condition your hair? No. What? So, <laughs> that's another day. We'll talk about yeah, it Yeah, we'll talk day. about that. But now, so she's like, no, I will never use this. I hate this kind. Okay. So she grabs the receipt and she goes, you got to bring this back. I don't, get shit. I don't think they take that stuff back, do they? Well, they do if it's not open. It's not open. Okay, all right. So, yeah, now I have to go back and not buy stuff again. I can't oh, wait wow. to see what else you buy at Target whenever you return your you, conditioner. You need to go to a Super Target where they sell more food, and that way you have things for your NFL charcut. <laughs> <laughs> you know you want it. <laughs> I love the maternity chair. <laughs> Thanks for listening to and recommending the Woody and Jim Show podcast. Listen to Woody and Jim in real time every weekday morning on 107.5 The River, Nashville, or live on the iHeartRadio app.